Hi, I've got another review, and it's this beauty here. The last place on earth, Scott and Amundsen, the race to the South Pole. Uh, and it's by an author called Roland Hunford. And he does, he's got a, quite a few books uh, on these historical Antarctic explorer figures. So we've got Scott and Amundsen here, he's done one on... Um, uh, Nansen, who was uh, who came before Amundsen, uh, a good thick book, and also uh, Shackleton, who sort of came after. Well, he was like, you know, mentioned in here, and also Shackleton deserves his own book, and Roland Hunford uh, duly wrote a book on him. But I'm interested in this book, and as you can see, I'm I haven't quite finished it yet. I'm probably about halfway through, but I already know enough to give a review of the book. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? What's, what's that noise? Uh, well, the first thing I can tell you is that there's, it's 600 pages, 600 pages of uh, beauty. Um, the other thing I've got to tell you is that there's no other book on Scott like this. Um, but we'll go to the basics first of all. It is split half and half, you know, uh, between Scott and Amundsen. We all know the story. Two people started, they had a race to the South Pole, Amundsen won, Scott and his party came second, Amundsen came back, Scott and his party didn't. Uh, Captain Oates said, I'll be just going outside, I may be some time. Um, and that's the, the basic story of it. Well, it isn't. There's a lot more, a lot more detail. And Huntford goes into a lot of detail. Now, I've got to tell you that, well, I'll quote. This is a rewrite, by the way, uh, but I've got to tell you that when the, and I'll quote now, okay, when this book first appeared, it was greeted in England by a storm of sentimental rage. There were, there were attempts to stop publication. This is what Huntford said and what he's written. Um, and I'll talk about it in a minute. But what else can I tell you? Well, this is a paperback version, so it's not a modern book. You know, it's like, you know, uh, it's not a first edition by any means. It is an abacus book, um, and it was revised and updated in 1999 and uh, published in 2000. The original work was in 1979. Uh, what else can I tell you about the book? Dedicated to his wife. It is an, a lovely read. I mean, you want, it's a t page turner. It's something you can dip in and out of. And when I first bought it, I went to a cafe to have a coffee because I, I wanted, needed a coffee. And I couldn't help but just have a quick peek in every now and again and just turn some pages and have a look what's going on. Um, because, you know, we know the story. Uh, and this gives a lot of meat on the bones. Now, I want to talk about the um, sentimental rage that Humphrey talks about. I can honestly tell you from reading it, that uh, it starts first of all with Amundsen and his secrecy and his training and how he trained himself to be a polar explorer. And he tells, a, you know, he tells a, a great story around Amundsen's upbringing and his early days and the mistakes he made and the lessons that he learnt and the skill and determination and the psyche as well within him. Uh, to dedicate his life to polar exploration. And I thought, well, you know, that's a lovely tribute to the man. And that was just the first bit. And then he went on to Scott. And um, it's been accused, this book has been accused of being a hatchet job on his reputation, on his competence, on his personality, on his leadership. 
uh, on his Englishness, on his naval traditions, on his inability to learn. Uh, all these things in this book are thrown at Scott. Captain Robert Falcon Scott, one of the greatest Englishmen who ever lived. Um, and uh, as if to compound it or underline it, there was a television series made of Scott of the Antarctic. Not the film, but the film's different. Well, the film's the same, same story, but different slants on the television series, which drew heavily from this book. And therefore, the um, the slant or the uh, view of Huntford being completely different to what we were expecting. You know, we expect a, you know, a competent, brave, heroic figure, and Huntford paints him as something completely different. And I'll speak more about that in a minute. Um, but you can sort of, you know, it also it underlined, you know, the television series underlined. You know, when people see television, they see it with their own eyes. They think it's the truth. And, the, and you know, you know, at the end of the day, there's no perfect person in the world. We've all got flaws. We've all got problems. We've all got things that we wish were better about ourselves and about uh, our learning experiences and some are good at some stuff and some are not so good and um, you know we've got to take that into account but I always you know I was thinking as I was reading it well it took something like 150 pages before uh, Huntford said anything nice about Scott that thing being that he he would do his own washing in the Antarctic because he he didn't think his he thought that his uh, steward steward had enough to be getting on with it without doing his washing as well. Uh, so um, you know it also opened the fact that what else is he not telling us that's nice about Scott? So we got to tell you know we, as we read it, it's not nailed on. It is opinion, it is uh, selective, as all books are, but this tends to be a hatchet job. It's more of a uh, uh, a cold-blooded murder of Scott's reputation. Having said all that, it's a very good read. It's a brilliant read, and the research that's gone to, into it is absolutely superb. There are maps. Some are difficult to follow. Um, there are quotes from books. There are more maps. There are uh, quotes from letters, uh, diaries. Uh, he, the bibliography is immense, starting with Amundsen himself, uh, all uh, Mears and all these other characters that pop up in the book, all the way down to Zapfer, who, yeah, another Norwegian, but the A to Z of bibliography is immense, and it's like a, oh, you see all these books, and I think to myself, I want these books, and he's just given me a list of all the books I should have, so, uh, you know, there's some good in Roland Huntford as well, isn't there? Um, it's got a introduction by Paul Thoreau, um, and that's an interesting read in itself. Um, he does press A the whole book, so you get a flavour, you know what you're going into when uh, when you start reading the book. And there are also the usual acknowledgements in there. It is a fascinating, you know, if he wrote one book in his life, and he's written a few, and Nansen's, Nan, the book on uh, Nansen, who is like the granddaddy of, of, uh, of explorers, that came before these. His book on Nansen is as thick as that, probably a little bit thicker. Uh, and these were secretive times, and these are difficult times to 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 really research. And he's done that. So you know the fact he's written 
one two and shackleton and other books as well shows that this guy he can uh he can write okay um now as you know I'll, you may have seen my other reviews if you haven't have a look at them but i like to i know google isn't uh it's not the magna carta google but you can go in you know it's you can go in there and you can do your own research and the wiki entry for Roland Huntford, for this book actually, um, does say that he made, that Huntford himself made an error with regards to orders that Scott gave. Now, now Huntford said he had written orders that he gave to everyone and they had to be followed to the letter. Uh, and that ultimately prevented his rescue right at the end because it was a very specific order that he gave to me as i think uh, one of them um but subsequently it's been found that he didn't give a written order it was a verbal it was a bland verbal order you know uh, you know have a think about what's going on and and you know stay as long as you think is necessary so so you know the fact that the rescue party was there and didn't managed to find, you know, were a, went left a couple of days too early, basically. Um, now that was that was found to be an error within Huntford's account. Huntford had said written order, it was a verbal order, and subsequently cast, you know, that was the that that error which sort of entered the, the the common belief uh, has has had to be sort of revisited and now we can look back at Scott in a different light because of the error found within Huntford's account if you sort of understand that I'm not sure if, if I put it uh, correctly or not now I'm only halfway through I'm loving it I don't want it to finish I know it's going to end I even know the ending but it's a story of you know there are other people in there that he is absolutely shamelessly um, holding up as you know you know they would sue if they were alive and they had been dead a hundred and ten years or whatever they would be suing uh, but of course the dead can't sue can they uh, I mean it may be fact it may be fiction it may be faction who knows but it's a jolly good read it will open your eyes if you love Antarctica stuff if you love polar explorers if you love uh, you know being British Englishness or Norwegian or just you want a jolly good adventure story get this book read it love it enjoy it Add it to your collection. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.